Often, when installing corrugated panels, you will encounter a pitch break in your roof. Your panels will need to transition from a high to a low slope. In this video, we're going to show you how to transition from a high to low section. This is the Metal Roofing Learning Channel. Brought to you by Western States Metal Roofing, where you can find a variety of colors and finishes all while saving by buying Factory Direct. Click the link above for your free quote today. Use of the following video content is subject to the warning, disclaimer of warranties, and limitation of liability as set forth on this screen. In this video, we will cover aligning your high to low trim for installation, installing foam closures and butyl tape, fastening pitch break trim, underlayment at pitch break, Installing double-sided butyl tape and foam closures to the top section of roofing and overlapping pitch brake trim. It's important to note the pitch brake will not line up with the transition point at the roof. It will need to sit flat against the upper transition resting on top of the existing roofing panels. Line up your trim onto your roof and trace the outline. We're using an Expo Dry Erase Marker, which wipes off easily. Draw a parallel line from your traced outline one inch towards the top. Lay a strip of double-sided butyl tape above your second line. Place a row of foam closures on top of your double-sided butyl tape. Place your trim in its location and make a mark one and a half inches from the edge on both sides of your trim. If you are pre-drilling your panel, mark where your screws will fall on each high seam of your panel. On the top section of trim, mark a line two inches from the top edge. On the top section of trim, pre-drill holes 12 inches apart. Begin pre-drilling your holes. Always remove any protective plastic prior to installation. Prior to fastening, silicone sealant should be placed on top of the foam closure. Set the trim in place by lining it up with your outline. Ensure that the pre-drilled holes are in line with the high seams of your panel. Secure the panel in place by fastening the two ends with a pancake screw. Continue securing the top section of trim with pancake screws, 12 inches on center and two inches from the top edge. Fasten the lower section of trim based on your pre-drilled holes. Screws should fall on the high seams of the panel and penetrate the foam closure. At each end, the location of your final screws may vary depending on the width of the side trim you will be installing. You do not want a screw to fall under the side trim. Wipe off all dust and debris from the top section of underlayment. A strip of 8-inch self-adhesive underlayment should be placed 3 inches from the edge of your trim. The underlayment should cover your pancake screws.
a strip of double-sided butyl tape should be placed at the edge of your 8-inch strip of underlayment. Install foam closures on top of your double-sided butyl tape. Make sure the foam is aligned with the roof panel's corrugations. When laying out the top section of roof panels, you want to make sure it's not only squared, but that the corrugations line up with the lower sections of panels. Your roofing panels should fall half an inch back from the top section of trim. Silicone sealant should be placed on your foam closure prior to installation. Mark each side of your roofing panel one and a half inches. Then draw a chalk line between the points. This will ensure your screws go on straight and penetrate the foam closure. Fasten your roofing panel based on your pre-drilled holes. Overlaps, if needed, should be a minimum of 6 inches. Start by marking the edge of your trim 6 inches. Then, slightly pry open the hem. Using metal cutting snips, notch out the hem up to the 6 inch mark. Pry open the hem of the adjacent piece up to 6 inches inward. Two lines of silicone sealant should be placed on the under section of trim. When connecting the two sections, it's best to push the section upwards into its position to prevent smearing the silicone sealant. It is important you immediately clean off all metal burr and shavings Burr and shaving can rust overnight, so if your installation will take multiple days, you need to clean your roof after each day. Want to learn how to install the first sheet of corrugated roofing? Or need to install a ridge cap? Check out these videos. The previous information was provided for informational purposes only and not intended to provide advice as to any particular project. The user should always seek the advice of a qualified roofing installation professional.